Hey guys, Patrick with Iron Rock Off-Road here. Uh, today we are excited to share with you our new JL Wrangler JT Gladiator heavy duty one ton steering system. Let's take a look at what's included with this kit. We're going to have a high clearance steering stabilizer relocation bracket. We're going to have a heat treated chromoly tie rod and an HD drag link, both made with inch and a half through ace wall material. Also, both are going to be featuring the HD one ton tie rod ends designed right here by Iron Rock Off-Road. Let's take a closer look at these. I got a couple of rod ends cut open here on the bench so we can kind of see the difference between an OE unit in an Iron Rock off-road one ton unit. Now you'll notice they are a little bit different in their construction. This is an OE drag link and this is gonna be our one ton drag link end. Now what we'll notice is the body is much larger and thicker on the one ton unit. Also the internals, we can see the ball on the one ton unit is much larger than the factory. There's no neck down like the factory. It's a full body shank, but it does retain the same taper, which means an easier installation because there's going to be no drilling, no reaming. All right. Now that we've seen what we're working with here today, it's time to do some assembly and some installation. Getting started with the assembly here. There's no particular order. We're just putting things together here. Um, I'm going to start with our double adjuster on both. This is a really nice convenient feature for doing the uh, adjustments at, during the installation. It's uh, machined, designed, everything right here in-house at Iron Rock Off-Road. Let's start with a little bit of anti-seize here. Now keep in mind, being as this is a double adjuster, this is a left-hand thread going into the bar. Now we made our double adjuster with this nice handy hex design, so you can just put a regular wrench on it. Now the next part of this assembly, we are going to be doing the drag link end at the pitman arm. Now we know which end this is, because at the pitman arm, we need the shortest assembly there. It's the shortest one in the kit, and we're doing that for frame clearance. Now, moving on to the other side of these assemblies. Now we're working with the ends that are gonna go to the uh, passenger side knuckle. Uh, these are uh, special ends. These are uh, built with what's called anti-flop. It's a slotted assembly in here. And what that's gonna do is prevent the tie rod and drag link from basically just flopping up and down as you're going down the trail, going down the road, that sort of thing. So it's a nice, quiet, smooth ride for you. It is hard to tell the difference between the two uh, just side by side. So it is very important that you pay attention to the part numbers on the bags that they come in and reference those to the instructions. All right, bench assembly is all finished up. We got the jail back up on the hoist, tires off. A uh, little pro tip before you just start disassembling stuff. Uh, we did take a center to center measurement on both links just to give us a rough idea. Just jot down the number on the link there just for a quick little reference. But uh, yeah, we're ready to go. So let's get ripping. With the tie rod and drag link out of the way, before we get the new ones on, we are gonna do the steering stabilizer bracket. Now we've already removed the track bar bolt and reinstalled it, so now we've got this nice and tight up against the factory mount. Now we do have to come underneath here and drill a hole for mounting. Now it's kind of dealer's choice. 
if you just want to mark it and drill through the bracket, or if you want to mark it, take the bracket off and then drill it. Completely up to you. With our new HD Stream Stabilizer Relocation Bracket, now installed, we can go ahead and get rid of that factory one. All right, old stuff is out, time for the new stuff. All right, now that the drag link is installed at the knuckle and the pitman arm, uh, before we go tightening all our clamping hardware and making adjustments, uh, we do want to make sure that this forward bend is facing forward and not so much downward because we need this clearance in here for the steering stabilizer. All right, so we've got the drag link adjusted pretty close to where we took the OEM off. Um, I am going to just hit these clamping tabs just so we kind of hold that for now because we do fully anticipate once we get it on the ground, check the steering wheel, that we're going to have to, you know, do a little bit finer tuning. One thing to note on this joint, as we're tightening up the clamping hardware, especially when we're finishing things up, we want to make sure this joint is centered at its resting point, that we're not twisted one way or the other. Uh, just nice and centered right there. And it is time for a tie rod, so let's get this sucker in here. All right, so we've got the tie rod in here, but before we clamp it down, I did want to point something out. Um, as we were talking during the assembly portion, we have what we call uh, anti-flop tie rod ends. So those are both on this end. As you can see with this one, uh, with the, on the drag link being torqued down, that is the most movement you're going to have out of it, which is perfectly normal. Now, we haven't clamped this one down, but if this was not anti-flop, if this had full range of spherical motion, with these bent links like this, if they didn't have something like an anti-flop to stop them, they would just flop down. So that's why these are so important in this setup. And just like on the drag link, we're just setting this to um, the rough measurement we took off of the OEM tie rod. Uh, once we get a little bit further down the line here, we will do an actual alignment. And keep in mind that this, being this is a double adjuster, this is a reverse thread. Well, it's time for the last piece of the puzzle before we start getting uh, everything put back together and making adjustments. Steering stabilizer. Now on this, we do run the bolt up from the bottom so that we've got clearance with the tie rod. Now when it comes to installing the stabilizer on the tie rod side, what we want to do is we want to swing our steering all the way to the right to full lock. Once we're there, we're going to compress this stabilizer all the way and can bring it back out just a hair. That way we know when we're at full lock to the passenger side, we're not going to over compress. Then we're going to put the steering stabilizer kind of towards the back side of the tie rod here, run the long bolt through the clamp. And then between the stabilizer and the clamp, we're going to put this spacer to give us some clearances. Line up the clamp with the stabilizer because we know the stabilizer is in the right spot. Now you can see we don't have a lot of thread up here. You might have to give this clamp just a little squeeze to get yourself enough thread to get started, but it should go pretty easy. Steering system is installed. Now we do still have to do our alignment and our final torques, but once we get that knocked out, we're back on the road. Now we're ready to set our toe uh, on the tie rod. And we're going to be using the Iron Rock Off-Road alignment tools. Super easy, multiple bolt patterns to include a five on five, which is what we're working with today. Very simple. We're going to lay the tape across the front notches and then the rear notches and compare that measurement. 
Now we're going to want our measurements um, in the front to be about a 16th to a 32nd less than the rear. And that's going indi to indicate to us um, in that 0.1 to 0.2 degrees of toe in. So we got the toe set using the Iron Rock Off-Road Alignment Tools. Uh, once we get it back on the ground, we are able to center up the steering wheel close. We do anticipate we'll have to make just a minor adjustment after a test drive. Um, but these parts can be found on our website, both as a kit and all a cart, ironrockoffroad.com. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. That's not going anywhere. <laughs>